Hey, it's another date night with me and the missus. And the missus. Oh, the, missus. <laughs> the queen bee. I like that better. Um, we just got out of Terminator Dark Fate. And um, uh, I think we're a little more excited to, for Dr. Sleep, but it's not out yet. <laughs> yeah. Dark Fate indeed, yeah. I would say. This one kind of skips over Terminator 3. Yeah, I wish I had known that going in. Yeah, they they cut out three... Basically, any Terminator that didn't have anything to do with James Cameron. I kind of get it, because Terminator 3 was... Bad. Bad. I didn't like it. Salvation was... Bad. Well, it's not. it wasn't bad. It was trying to do something different, but they didn't execute it. But I gave them credit for trying to be a little different. Genesis... Um, bad. I thought it was fun. Well, the problem with the Terminator movies is they kind of have to follow the same formula. And if they deviate it, it's no longer a Terminator movie. This one at least had me entertained. I, really? Yeah, it, it had me entertained. I, was, I wasn't I was fully invested because in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, this is still another rehash. The same person targeted Terminator set to kill him, and then we sent someone else to save them exact same formula and they can't really deviate from that but i, I mean exact same formula yeah like but i i liked the 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 different things the things that they tried to do differently i thought the the new terminator design was kind of awesome how he could like split off into an exoskeleton and the liquid metal component i thought that was novel this, this Terminator, his human form, I wasn't as excited about. He kind of lacked that cold iciness that Robert Patrick had. It, that guy looked like a machine. <laughs> he was cold. A spoiler, because this didn't happen in the movie, but I kept waiting on it to happen, and it should have happened. <laughs> the thing I kept waiting for is, okay, he can take on people's shape. Why did he never become Grace? And Grace came up after them. Yeah. I was expecting Grace to be him. It, it could be because they did that in T2 when he became Linda Hamilton for a while. Maybe they didn't want to repeat that. I, I like certain parts of it, mostly Linda Hamilton. It, it was nice seeing her again. Yeah. She was my favorite part of the whole movie. I thought the main girl they were trying to save just got on my damn nerves all the time. She was bland. She was She's a horrible actress. She was just bland. I just didn't horrible care actress. for her. I, I, I think that's that maybe this a movie's problem. So much of it is forgettable. Grace, I thought the idea was novel. It's I sending an upgraded idea. human back. At least give, instead of sending a regular squishy human back to deal with this machine, they stack the deck a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that was a good idea. She did look badass fighting. I mean, they, they handled the action pretty good. Oh, you're going to give birth to the next man that's going to save the world? I'm thinking, no. <laughs> no. So, what do you mean, man? <laughs> because, I mean, it's 2019. The, there's the political... Uh, it's woke. <laughs> please don't ever say that. <laughs> some parts of it were kind of pandery. There were some parts of it that I kind of really adored. I liked that... Arnold's Terminator had a life. It's cringy and it's just silly, mm -hmm. but I like that they went there. I like that they the Terminator finished his job. Now what? <laughs> so he just and he starts hanging drapes apparently. Yeah, he he had to probably and had it, to pick a job that wasn't too attention grabbing and just built a life out, out of that. And I thought that was hysterical. Some of the dialogue in this movie was just cringy. It was bad, right? It's like, I drink till I pass out. Yeah. No, we don't want to know what your personal life is like. You know, read your line, Linda. I know. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's like, oh. It yeah. felt so unnecessary. It felt very familiar. I mean, they keep making Terminator movies, but there's only so much you can do with it. It's, it's a formula. The second one worked because they flipped that formula around. They made the Terminator a hero. Right. Beyond that, in 3, what did they do? They made the bad Terminator female. Arnold a good guy again. 
Genesis, I appreciated them trying to relaunch it and just kind of retcon things and just try to start fresh. You know, because if you were going to re redo this, you may as well just start over and reboot it. They go back to this one with uh, Jim Cameron involved again, and it's still the same damn story. Why are you... Did you pay the bill? <laughs> So if you're going to go back in time to kill someone, why are you going back to kill them when they are an adult and capable of handling their things? Why are you not going back to kill them as children? First of all, that's horrible. Not that I'm advocating killing children by yes, any you means. Are. <laughs> I'm just saying so much easier to kill children than adults. That's not um life hack. <laughs> Oh, that's not what I meant. Oh, and then Deadpool didn't have a problem with that. Maximum effort. There's a lot of things that logistically computers would have done differently. That would have made it for a quicker movie, but then we wouldn't have had a movie. And we wouldn't have... I mean, it's, yeah. a lot of it is for dramatic things. Yeah. So we can have our action scenes. And not a 30 seconds of a Terminator stomping a baby to death. One of the things, the strengths and the heart of T2 was the relationship between John and the Terminator. That's exactly what this movie was lacking, a heart. Yes, it didn't have a heart. And so much of T2, you could look at it and go, okay, that is what a boy that age would do. That is what his mom would do that's what the decisions they would make like all of it kind of made sense you could see the logic behind their decisions and in this one no it was a screenwriter making the decisions mm -hmm. i like the idea of an augmented human i wanted to see it because i do love the terminator series um the first one and the second one are like two of my favorite movies i love them grew up watching them obviously seen them multiple multiple times so i always have hope yeah and i wanted I to see wanted, linda hamilton again of course yeah. yes and i wanted it to be good so that's why i wanted to see it but trying to be socially relevant and they're trying to make an action blockbuster and you can't really do too much of one yeah. it wasn't balanced it was all over the place this movie i mean if they want to reboot it just start fresh new actors just do it all over if they wanted to just reboot it just do it already don't yeah. try to reintroduce everything and don't pander to past audiences don't try to bait just yeah. start fresh like you said there was no heart to this one it just felt like they wanted like jim cameron just pissing on the terminator franchise again because he wanted to remind everyone that he created it that he was a part of it i wonder if it would have been better if he directed he just produced. He yeah. just collects checks off of it. Tim Miller directed this. What if else has Tim Miller directed? Deadpool. So he's a competent director. I love Deadpool. Yeah, but... I mean, what the hell? And that's the problem with this movie. At its core, it feels like it's just been done already. And it has. And it has. Better. Much better. So I think my verdict is, I'm calling this two Bs. Two Bs. Two Bs. It had some moments, there's some parts of it I really liked. There's some moments that I immediately forgot when it was over. I didn't care about anybody in this movie. I cared about Linda Hamilton, but I kind of felt like the rest of the people, I didn't care if they lived or died. Not at all. Actually, a little part of me wanted to see Linda Hamilton move in with Arnie at the end of the movie. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that would happen. I knew it would never happen in a million years, but I thought that would have been adorable and it would be like her character coming full circle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, that's it. Two Bs. Like, subscribe, comment, the bell, the usual YouTube stuff. This is the newbie and I'll see you later. <laughs> right, doodles.
I'm so bad at this part. And special thanks to my patrons. You guys rock.